Using Twitter can land you some free concert tickets and other cool items, but now those tweets are getting teenagers out of final exams. Is that a right move for teachers? Joining us now is former educator Melissa Williams, along with life coach Wendy Turner. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here so early. But tweeting to get out of exams? Come on, you can't be serious about this. I know. And it, if it were relevant to the subject that they're even taking the test for, it may actually be a good idea if it were a marketing or branding class. We're talking about art classes. This is not even comparable to what it's useful for, so. I used to teach English, mm -hmm. and you know, at the risk of needing to stay prudent, I think, with not taking anything away or being discriminatory about it being an elective, my concern more so is what was a teacher attempting to do by raising the, the level of popularity? I know good things come from social media. Many of my followers, and I have a pretty good following, they are students, and so they find ways to find tips on just living and good things of advice, so there's good things coming from this. But where she went with this, and it became a phenomenon, I found out. But should a teacher be doing stuff like this and letting the students get away with it? It's I don't. taking school, I, I mean, so. school should be yeah. something that you take serious, and this is definitely not leading by example. Right. Comprehensive. Are you learning the content that you're needing to take your next level of matriculation? That's the, que the question here, and I don't think that getting 15,000 tweets is answering that call. Do you know whether this could become a trend because if it started one place social media is going to take it everywhere right Definitely. and then some folks might just say well I might want to do this right right and Twitter has become such a trend especially for that age group but it's not really laying a good foundation of communication if these kids are not really respecting one-on-one -on -one communication with people and moving from that, it, it's just not going to help in the long run. Well, statistics show you have a certain amount of characters to even convey a message. Mm -hmm. So brevity here takes the place of really being able to convey critical thought. What does that mean then for our communication levels as we grow? I question that. Well, it's going to be something that will be questioned for a long time right. because I, for one, did not know about this until this morning, and I was shocked. Mm -hmm. Just could not believe it. Thank you so very much for coming in and chiming in on this. Melissa Williams and life coach Wendy Turner. Thank you. Thank you.